When you build a course in Articulate Storyline, you get to control exactly which features appear on your course player. And today we're going to see how you can do that. So we'll need to go to the Home tab of the ribbon and then click the Player button, and that's going to bring up the Player Properties window. And when we first get here, we'll be looking at the Features section of the window, and that's where we want to be. And the way that this works is you choose your options over here on the left side of the window, and then this preview over here at the right is going to change to show what your player will look like with those options. So one thing that you can do is choose the player tabs that you want to include on the player, and that's what this box is for. And see how the box has sections? These correspond to different areas of your player. So like I've got top bar left, that's where my glossary tab is right now. I've got top bar right, and that's where I've put my resources. Then I've also got the section called sidebar, which is this part right here. Now you can move things around, you can put your player tabs where you want, but first you need to mark the box next to the items that you want to include and unmark the box next to the items that you don't want. So like if you want a menu, you would leave this check mark checked, and if you don't want it, you would unmark that box, and then of course your preview would change to reflect that choice. If you wanted to also maybe add a glossary, you would mark this item. If you wanted to add some attachments to your course, like maybe some files or some links to some web pages, you could mark resources. And then if you plan on entering some text in the slide notes pane for any of your slides, you would mark the notes item. Now the menu, the resources, and the glossary, those are all things that you can customize right here in this window. See these buttons up here, menu, resources, glossary. So you'll want to use those buttons to set up your preferences if you do plan on including those items. And we've got a separate tutorial for each of them if you need a little bit of guidance. The notes though, those are a little different. Those are something that you enter for each individual slide in your course. So let me just close this out for a second and I'll show you. So see how in this slide we've got this panel down here below the slide and there's a notes tab right here. And this is where you would enter any notes text that you want to appear on your player, you know, on a slide by slide basis. Okay, let's go back up to our player properties window. Now, what if you choose some tabs here in this box, but you don't like where they're appearing in the preview? Well, that's totally okay because you can rearrange them. So what you can do is select any item in the list and then use these little blue arrows down here below that box to move the item up or down in the list. So I can click the up arrow to move it up. And if I move it, it might even move to a different section of the list here. So like right now, my resources are in the top bar left and in the preview, that's where they're showing up now. I can also move it down a couple notches like to my sidebar and now my resources are over here. So it's really easy to rearrange things. Another neat thing is if you don't want to display all these tabs for every slide in your course, you can turn any of them off at the slide level. It just involves editing the slide properties on specific slides. And if you need a little help with that, you can check out our tutorial called Controlling the Slide Properties. Now sometimes people also like to add their own tabs to the player, and that's really easy too. So let's just say we've got some content that we want to add as a tab. All we would need to do is click on this Add button, and then we would set up a trigger. So first we're going to name the tab. Let's call this one Need a Coach. And then we go through the trigger wizard and tell Storyline what we want to have happen here. So first we want to choose the location. You can choose top bar left or top bar right. We'll choose the right. And now we go through and add um, the action. So there's a few choices here, but I'm going to go ahead with the light box option. And the slide that I want to light box, I'll go through here and check out what I've got. And there's the one that I want to add as my light box. And I do want it to happen when the user clicks, and that's all I would need to do. So now the tab is there, and I've actually got a published sample of this that I published previously. In fact, this one um, even includes a second custom tab here, um, along with the one called Need a Coach. So the way that this would behave is the learner could click on that custom tab, and this would light box the slide that I chose. Okay, let's go back here to our player properties. A few other things that we can do here in the features area of player properties is you can turn the title of your course on or off. And if you turn it on, it's going to appear right up here in the top bar left. Um, also, if you've got some tabs in the sidebar of your course, you can choose where you want the sidebar to appear. It can be on the left or it can be on the right if you would rather. And then you can also decide what player controls you want. And again, you can turn these player controls on or off at the slide level and slide properties for any slide. And then we also have this logo panel. If you haven't added a logo to your player, you'll see a link here. Instead of the picture, it'll say click to add logo, and then you'll be able to choose whatever picture you want to use for the logo panel of your course.